So right now I'm going to share with you guys six different methods. Some of you, so every single one of you guys that got invited here, one of these methods were used on you. Unfortunately, some, all six, uh, and we still couldn't get you here. But it's okay, you're here now. So the first one is confrontational. What, what I mean by confrontational is, uh, you, for an example, you get, up, you get up on a bucket, you get up on a box and on the corner of a street or a park, and you start yelling at people saying, you need Jesus. Uh, uh, you're a sinner. No, Jesus died for you. Not the wisest decision to do, um, but, you know, whatever works, whatever works uh, for you. But if you decide to do that, make sure none of us are there to see you do that. So number one is confrontational. Number two is intellectual. Just like Paul, uh, Paul in the Bible, he debated with uh, philosophers. But we got to make sure when we debate, we got to know our motives for debating is not, to win the, not just to win the debate, but make sure that the soul is one. So we could, just like Paul, he, he debated with that person, but that city, at the end of it, that city wasn't saved. There was no salvation. So we got to, when we debate with people, and we just, win the, we just win the argument, we just win the debate, but we don't win the soul. We've won nothing. No, God, uh, God sent us in this world to win souls and make disciples, not win debates. Amen? So, number two, intellectual. Number three is testimonial. This is one of the best ways you can invite someone. Because testimony, you don't, know, you don't need to know the Bible uh, frontwards, backwards. You need to know, know all the quotes, all the things, Pastor Vlad says, Pastor Vasily says. All you have to do is share your testimony. Just like the blind person in the Bible, Jesus healed them. They came up to him saying, what do you know about Jesus? He said, I don't know much about Jesus. But what I do know is I once was blind, but now I see. So all you have to do, you can be in the sauna, you can be at work. You can say, I was once addicted to drugs, but now I'm free. I once was, uh, no, addicted to drugs. I was suicidal. I was depressed, but now I'm free. Amen? So number three is one of the best ways you could... Uh, do it, but whatever works for you. And number four is relation, uh, relational. So th this one is when you have more people. This is, takes more time. No, you, these are the people that are, are on your prayer list. These are your family, your friends that you take time, that you come to morning prayer, you pray for. These are the people that you take a long time. And you have to, you know, you have to intercede for them. You have to cry out for them. Amen. And then number five is invitational. This is one of the easiest ways you can invite people. Um, and just like the Samaritan woman in the, uh, in the Bible, she just begged people to come and see Jesus for themselves. That's all we have to do. We just have to ask people. No, many of us have these cards. Um, if you don't, you could grab them in the lobby. All you have to do is invite people. Or you can invite people um, on social media. No, social media is the easiest thing to invite people. Because I have a lot of friends on, from my school on Snapchat. And all I did is post about church. And instead of me inviting them, they invite themselves. They come up to me. They're like, I thought church was really boring. But seeing your church, you get, it, looks like it looks like it's a concert. It looks, it looks like you guys ha actually have fun in church. Like church is actually fun. And I don't have to invite them. They invite themselves. So use social media. Use these cards. One of the easiest ways to invite people. And number six, last but not least, is serving. In the Bible, Tor Dorcas impacted her city by doing good deeds. See, have you ever, you know, someone really made you mad and then right after they asked you for something, you're like, I don't want to do that for you. Like, you just made me mad. You just uh, ticked me off. We have to be good people to others. We have to serve. We have to, uh, even if we're in a bad attitude, even if we're, you know, nothing's going right, we still have to serve people. Because when people see that, no, you're not having the best day, you're not having the best... Um, morning you woke up on the wrong side of the bed but you still have a positive attitude you're still serving you're still giving to those not just to those that are christian but those two that are not christian you're helping them out they will see something different in you they'll see you know he's not having the best day but he's still helping me out he still asked me how my day was going and then there you have leverage to be like hey you want to come to church but because you were serving them. But if you just don't serve them, if you, you know, you say bad things to them and then you invite them to church, of course they're not going to want to come. So number six, serve people. Always be a, a serving person. Amen? So these n six ways of inviting people.